I mean, I basically felt like I could beat him with my eyes closed. Not literally eyes closed, but basically just be very chill, talking to chat. And um, now I can't do that anymore. Like, it's just getting that good. Let's play Faustino. That was extremely weird. That was extremely weird. He played like 10 perfect moves in a row and then he just blundered the whole thing away. Oh, it's supposed to go knight g5, by the way. No, I mean, that's just weird. I, I don't know what's going on, but that just felt really weird. Like really, really legit, just like strange. Um. Okay, what am I doing? I should just move. It's, it's like he played perfectly and then suddenly he played 10 bad moves in a row. So the game ended in a draw and he didn't win the game. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. It just felt really, really odd. Let's go Queenie 2. Uh, how did Faustino even get to IM? Because he's a freaking uh, crazy kid. Not literally crazy, but he's crazy. He's just crazy good. This there, I mean, I don't know if this is good, but it's what I'm going to go for at least. Okay, this of course is horrible for me, as usual. Par for the course. Just go here. Knight of four, I can take and go knight of five, and I'm fine. Um, if I go knight of five, what's what exactly is going on? I don't actually know. Let's just go here. I should have gone knight of five. I don't know why I didn't just play it. So I go knight of five here. Takes, takes bishop e3, queen e3. I'm, I'm going to go for it anyway. Three hundred eleven points in the last month because he's, uh, he's very good. I mean, he's at the age where certain things will just click. That's just how it goes. Like if something just clicks, I mean, he can have this massive improvement in a way that most people cannot. Now I have fe3, but he's knight g5, queen g2, e4, queen here, check, king g2, queen e7, queen f4. It goes on and on and on forever, and I don't really know what's going on there. Um, queen e3 is also fine. I'm just going to take with the queen. And bishop b3 looks like a very solid move. If I could trade off, I would, but I can't. So let's just go. I'm thinking too long again. A4 is fine too. Oh wait, no, A4 hangs upon. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just have to move. I think this is also a bad move, by the way. But what's there? I guess I'll go here, try and force the rooks off the board. I'm so slow. Why am I so slow? What the heck? Yeah, I'm just too slow. I saw this, but I assumed I had like Rook D8 or something. Go here. The blunder somehow. Yeah, I don't like F6 from Faustino, actually. It feels very weakening. Go here, fix the pawns. here. 
don't really know if I should go G5, but I'll try it anyway. Whoa, it goes there? Wait a second. Is that a blunder? Rook D8? There we go. I got him. I got him, but it was not a good game. I got him. Yeah, it's just all going to collapse here for Faustino. Yeah, once he let me get G5, G6, he kind of messed it up a little bit. Yeah, but he's getting good. Like, I mean, even probably six months ago, whenever it was that I beat him like nine to one. I mean, I basically felt like I could beat him with my eyes closed. Not literally eyes closed, but basically just be very chill, talking to chat. It's all like very Humpty Dumpty, whatever you want to call it. And um, now I can't do that anymore. Like, he's just getting that good. What are my thoughts on Nihal getting left behind? I mean, I really like, I don't mean to be mean, but I think Nihal, like when you start playing super boring, dry ga openings every game, like, what do you expect to happen? Like, I remember seeing him play in the German Bundesliga recently, and it's just like, he played something super boring in a, in a Petrov, and it's just like, I mean, you're 2680 or 2690, you're playing 2630, and you're just gonna play, you're gonna play one of these boring Petrov lines and make a draw, it's just like, come on. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but that's just, it just seems kind of, I don't know. It's just, it's just not it. I'm gonna go H4 and take. My king's in the middle of the board, but I think it's pretty safe. I have queen f5, bishop h5, h3, 2. Do I go king e7 or not? I guess I'll go here. And then h3. Let's go back. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to go bishop e4 and bishop d5, maybe. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not trying to really be nasty or anything. It's just, I've seen Nihal play, and I see all these these games that he plays in Blitz, which are just phenomenal. And then I see him play some game in, like, a Petrov. I'm just like, are you serious, dude? It's like, I don't know. Like, again, I, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. It's just, I see his games, and I'm just, I'm confused. Let's put it that way. Okay, now I could take, of course. I don't really want to, but I will anyway. There's an end game and it's a rook versus bishop. I do have a slight weakness on h3, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We'll go here in knight d6. I don't know what I'm doing actually. I'm playing kind of stupidly here. Let's give me G4. I'm going to go for... Oh, but he has F4 too. Let's go here. Could have taken and then played Rook G. Why didn't I? Oh, he goes F4. I'm a little surprised to see that from, from Faustino. Let's go F5. Why not? It's very risky putting all these pieces on the same color, but I think it's okay. gonna be hard to win this probably I can't win in fact it's already a draw unless I can somehow kick the knight well I can somehow kick this rook out maybe oh now I blundered b5 of course he spots it takes here. I mean, knight g6 is always an option, but it's not what I want to play. And I got to pick up my pace. I'm going to go here. delay I 
trying to confuse the situation a little bit here. I tricked him again. Here we go. I tricked him. I fork. It's a family fork. I forked the two rooks and the king. Or did I? Oh, he's got tricks. It's not over. Take. Okay, this should be winning. I've got a huge horse. Wait, take takes h2, rook b1. Okay, let's just go here, I guess. Okay, now I just win. Yeah, there we go. Tough game, but we got the win. Let's keep rolling. Two out of two. I haven't played great in these first two games. So I'm hoping that I can pick up the quality in these next couple. Play knight of three. Okay, we're just going to play, I guess, an Italian. Standard boring Italiano. Um go here i could play a3 i could play a4 too i'm just gonna reroute the pieces it's very very boring and slow so i think about coaching a prodigy i mean i've never really thought about it like but i mean it's possible it's always possible okay so i don't really want to play bishop c2 but i will and i'll go c2 queen e2 rook d1 and so forth okay plays d5 good understanding from faustino actually very good understanding This kid isn't fair. Even you get 9-0, he's going to stop playing again. I mean, I think the days of me beating him 9-0 are, like, long gone. I think I can still beat him on average, like, probably 80% if I play well. But I'm not going to be beating him, like, like 9-0. So I think I think fair value with where he's at and the rate he's improving is probably 7-3, 8-2. So, like, 7.5. Do I coach Andy Woodward? I was supporting him financially. I wasn't... I wasn't um, I wasn't like coaching him specifically uh so i was helping him financially it, it was like it was quite a bit of money like i think people really don't understand one second um go knight f5 takes takes bishop d5 c4 okay again i'm thinking for w what reason exactly i mean knight of is what i want to play but he's also just this king h7 so let's just go here i guess i don't know what i'm doing B5 is a good move. I'll go A4 here. Try to open it up a little bit. Like, I want to go Rook C3. Maybe Knight F5. Maybe Knight F3. I mean, it's a little bit unclear now. Because I'm starting to get a little bit of weird play here in the center of the board. Oh, he's got this move, which I didn't see either. I have some... Wait. I feel like I have something here. Hmm... No, no, no. Come on. You got to find a move. Go here. Too slow. Way too slow. I'm down 30 seconds on the clock here again. I think fair value is like seven and a half. I think, I think seven and a half out of 10 is fair value when I play Faustino already. Again, I don't have many good moves. I was going to go queen d2, and I mean, I probably should not trade, but queen a... I'm going to try to play on this. This is very risky. Very risky for me. It's probably no good. Rook c2, and I could have made a draw, but I'll play on. I mean, it's 94, but I just take and go here, and then rook here.
or it's MSD4. Maybe just here. Takes I have rook e8. Starting to reroute my knight a little bit here. Wait, do I have 94? It's just a draw. I'll take and make the draw. Oh, he doesn't want to draw. Interesting. Wait. Okay, I'm already too slow again. What's wrong? Oh, wait. Bishop e4, I have rook d4. Got 97 is my trick at least. Oh, what is that? I what am, wait, no wait, I take? What am I doing? Going blind. I guess I'll just make the draw here. I don't have the time to focus. That was a bad move too, by the way. Yeah, I just make the draw. I can't lose here is the main reason. Ah. Uh, King C7, I win the game. King C7, I win that. <sighs> Stupid. Yeah, King C7, when he played King A6, if I go King C7, I win. But I didn't think he would blunder that. But it's what it is. I mean, I was also much worse earlier, so... Can't complain. Burn, baby, burn. Time scrambles in non-increment chess for you? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not as fast as I once was. I will say that. Like, I, I try to move fast, but I'm not as fast. I mean, I, I, I think, like, I, I did misplay that, though. I, th I think I should have won that scramble, actually. I also had bishop b4, which I didn't play. I don't know why. Let's go here now. Oh, I bought a rookie fought. I oh, know I've got queen c7. Okay. No, it's still a, no. It's not that it's, a, it's not actually whether it's winning or not, you guys. But the point is, he would have blundered. So he doesn't have instant moves, and he was lower on time. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just moving aimlessly. Burn, baby, burn. Go here, trade some queens. Why am I losing my speed? I mean, I think just in general, I'm not as fast. It's like a disconnect between the hand and the brain. Pun, pun unintended, of course, but let's go here and target the juicer. I'm gonna try to stack the rooks. I'm definitely putting pressure on Faustino in these games in a way that I haven't lately. B5 is a move. It's not what I want to do. But I let him off the hook. Is there a way? C5, bishop here, rook d5 is no good. I'm just going to go a6 here. Maybe c5, maybe bishop back. It does a4. I think he missed the idea was to stop bishop b5. Okay. If I take, take. 
I don't know. I'm going to go for it. I think I'm okay. Okay, he takes with a knight. That's not what I expected, actually. It feels slightly wrong somehow. I don't know why, but it just feels... Hmm. I'll just go here. Not king takes with bishop takes e6, of course. Okay, let's go like here. Maybe knight c5. Trying to put pressure, real pressure on the clock here. I go knight b3, knight e5, knight c1. Yeah, this is fine. If he trades, okay, I take, and then I go f. Ah, but he's got bishop c4 anyway. Shoot. He's defending well here. I still am better, but it's not trivial. Like, I'm better. I just don't know if I'm winning here. Okay, that feels like a bad move. Not bishop d5. How do I... Uh, rook d3, maybe? I'm gonna go here and hit the knight like this. Go here and hit the pawn. He does have c4, but I have check. Oh, he misses it. Okay. here not a great move probably i should have just taken play why didn't i just yeah why didn't i just take it goes for it now i'll go check bring the bishop back to c6 wow oh wait no that's not wow because knight f3 allows e4 never mind it's not a wow it's actually a blunder there we go I guess I take, he takes, go here. I assume that I'm probably going to win this game just because of the time situation alone, but it's not trivial. I'm gonna pawn too fast here. Yeah, there we go. Good win. Let's keep going. Faustino's E4 opening seemed very good here. Very, very solid. Dennis lost to who? Somebody lost to Faustino and Wesley and what? I don't know what you guys are saying. Dennis lost Wesley, not Faustino, so he didn't qualify? Okay. Hmm. Go here in D4, 92. Here, I should be a little bit better here. Very slightly better. Not like a major advantage, but... The takes in C4. I think it's Bishop C2. And then Bishop E3. Yeah, like Rook A D8, Queen C1, and the show goes on. So I think there's some kind of weird sack on H6 if I remember these lines correctly. Who does here? It was queen e7, which also feels wrong, but I don't... I feel like I'm supposed to play a4, b3. I know I'm supposed to expand on the uh, queen side here at some point. Knight f5 is obviously a move too. 
I go B3, D5. B3, D... I should have played B3 first, I think. I'm going to trust my instinct here. This is still fine. Okay, it's going to allow me C4. This is a mistake from Faustino, actually. Because now it should be better. Should be an R or two different things, of course, but I should be better. I enjoy playing the Spanish more than the Italian, but they're both, both of course, played a lot at the top level of chess. Yeah, they're both playable, so, yeah. Don't let me down. Oh, wait, he took. Um, So if I take... Bishop d4 allows knight e5. Well, but knight, knight h2 probably also fine. Let's go here, use these knights. Go here. So f4, queen b2. Should be doing well here, but it's not simple. Ooh, wow, I did not expect that. Oh, I could have taken f6. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? So bad. That's incredibly bad by me. Oh my, just just take on f6 in this game over. Ridiculous, okay, let's go f3. So incredibly stupid. I'm gonna retreat, hit the pawn. Pressure in the center, rook d1 also a move. I mean, you can try to go d Okay, he goes there. I mean, if I take his knight f4, probably fine for me, but I'm not sure actually. And I'm getting a little bit low on time. I don't really want to take. Oh, whatever, I guess I'll do it anyway. Or can he invert the order? He might even be able to invert the order. But this, I thought, was a mistake, so knight h4. Yeah, he made a slight mistake with the ordering, I think, of this. Or g3, king... I don't know which one's right. Um, I guess I'll go to h1. Of course, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have gone to h2. Yeah, he's got this, and now I've messed it all up. Queen c7 maybe is, is this a move I'm gonna go for something this looks really insane like I'm probably gonna get mated somehow but I'm gonna go for it anyway yeah I'm gonna go like here and pretend I mean he's got these great knights I'm gonna go here yeah I'm basically pretending that I'm not lost here this looks very 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 iffy I mean I'm probably losing somehow but if I'm not losing then I'm also winning Uh, did I just blunder again? I did, right? Am I meat? That I blunt well, we both blundered. There we go. <sighs> tough game. Okay. Very, very tough game. There was no checkmate. The king runs to f6. There might have been some way to win there. I don't know. Maybe. Could I have thrown a knight f5? Knight f5, g5. Oh, I could have played knight f5, queen g8, queen g3. I suck at chess. Whatever. How could 10-year-old be this good? Because he's played chess a lot. It's what I've said many, it's what I've said many times. Like, you know, if you spend a, a lot of time on chess, you will improve. Of course, if you do it at a young age, your chances of improving are like it's exponentially higher. Yeah. <laughs> Eval bar took like huge jumps like 10 times. No kidding. I'm gonna go here. 
There's C5. Try to play in the center of the board here. There's also C4. We'll go here. Kind of want to go bishop f4. I also kind of want to take. I think I'm just going to take and go here. Go here. Logical. I guess I'll go here. Not. Ah, uh, there's 95. Oh, wait, no. I can take and go d4 maybe, actually. I go rook d7. Oh, I missed queen g4. Uh, go here. Not so great, but it's still playable. Maybe queen c7 was slightly better, maybe, but okay, whatever. Uh, king h7, rook h8, there's queen h8. No, 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 it's after queen d6 that I could check. King g7, knight f5, takes queen g8, king f6, queen g3, and that's just winning. Very poor, but whatever. Okay, let's go F6. Let's focus on the game. I got to take away squares from the horse. I think that's winning, actually. In Argentina, inflation is crazy. You need to adopt this poor kid. I believe he's getting financial support, actually, which is very, very good to hear. No, I'm, I'm, jokes aside, I think he's getting financial support, which is fantastic. I could go F5 here, but I'm not going. I mean, where is he going? Am I... I think I'll go here. I'm going to try to actually mate him. Let's go b6. Still is a little bit iffy from me, but I think it's okay. I still have queen d6 to go for mates. But the bishop should be on d6, not c7, because this is just a dead threat. I don't know if I like b5, actually, from him, because now I think... Yeah, I'm just going to go all in. f5, f4 here, just attack. Could have played h5 too. Probably I should have. Okay, let's go here. I'm gonna go g3 and I'm gonna go like. Oh, wait. If I go rookie 4 I wanna go f4, but I've. Maybe I've kind of misplayed this. Maybe knight e6. Oh, I blundered rook c6. Just beautiful. Beautifully stupid. If I go f4. Yeah, I've, I've actually trapped my rook now, even better. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to go for it. Go here, I guess. Feels very slightly wrong. If I go rook c7, okay, takes, takes, takes. I mean, I'm still probably in trouble here, but it looks dangerous for white somehow. There's queen f7. I don't know. Somehow it looks like I should have a lot of play here. I can take and I have knife f4 also. I think Faustino's misplayed this, but I'm not sure if I'm actually winning or not. He goes rookie one, which. Wait. Bishop d2, rookie four takes, queen e4, knight f4 or something. This looks horrible. Really? Do I not have a way to attack him? Knight h3, rookie four. Running out of time too. If I go queen e7. Um bum 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 bum. Okay, I just gotta move. Trying to attack. I don't know if this is working. Threatening knight h3 and rook f2 to just blow him off the board here. Not sure what he can do, actually. Okay, let's just go for it. I think I have a, I have a classic ladder. This should be GG's. Should be GG's. La, 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 la. This is just a classic ladder. That's good. That's good. I'm going to stop with that. Yeah, that, that, that's a good spot. That's a good spot to stop at. Very, very good spot, I think. Right? Or should I do two more? Let's do two more. Let's do two more. Oh, no. Wins are only plus three. Why did I... Ah, whatever. Let's do one more. 
one last one I took his 3,000 rating we'll do one last one let's play h392 I mean I'm playing better I'm not playing great though like he, he is still defending very well in most of his games who cares about rating just have fun now it's not about rating it's that I'm getting a little bit tired I've been alive almost five hours that's what it is I'm a little bit tired and he is not tired by the way he is he's almost one fourth my age that is that just sounds ridiculous when I even say that out loud even saying that out loud sounds absolutely ridiculous he's also got d4 which I'm well he's not gonna play it but okay go c6 there he could be your child no no kidding yes yeah so here I'm gonna stack the rooks on the file of course I might take on e4 with the pawn potentially I don't know maybe but here I'm gonna go back threatening to sack the rook for the knight here logical then go e4 take with the knight try to attack him somewhere over here go here and take A lot of pressure like Queen G4 incoming. I'll go here, maybe Rook G3. Go here, more pressure. Maybe G4, a Knight G5, maybe? I'm just gonna go G4 and keep attacking. Oh, this is Blunder G6. No, I take and take, I'm blind. Yeah, G6 is not a threat still, right? It's still not a threat. So I think I'm gonna go here just so that I don't trap my rook by accident. And maybe knight g3, knight f5 somewhere. I don't know what that. What is he aiming for? I'm a little confused. I guess I'll just go here. I'm willing to let him play knight c5. I, I don't know what his idea is actually. I'm a little confused. Wait, what? Oh, he's got rookie six, of course, and I missed it. Yeah, now I've messed it up. I thought I could sack his rookie six, which I completely overlooked. Yeah, I've totally fumbled this. Let's go D four here. Probably gonna have to sack for the knight or something. I don't know. Let's just go. Actually, maybe now I have c4, d5. Ah, uh, maybe it's not so simple. Because if I get d5, I'm suddenly getting a lot of play. So if I play here. Check. King h... Wait, rook f1? Wait, rook f1? Rook f4. And I got him. I got him. I think I got him. Queen c2 takes... Yeah, this is good. I got him. Yeah, I got him. Or did I get him, actually? So... So, takes, takes... No, actually, I have 96, so yeah, of course, of course it's winning. There we go. That's much better. Goes rook d8. Okay, slow down. Don't blunder. Just go here. checkmate there we go all right you guys there we go that is a good way to stop like even though i start off so ice cold i still only dropped like 25 points yeah this was a brutal these were these were some tough games luckily i was very focused so found a way to get the wins